Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I, uh, I think I'm online. Hey, welcome back to Avenkabot, uh, spooky ass October streams. Yo, it's spooky, it's October. We're playing The Evil Within. Normally, I don't play horror games or survival horror or anything like that, so this is very new to me. Last time, I got very frustrated because there are, uh, there's game flow ideas at play here that I don't fully understand. And nothing makes me saltier than not understanding what I'm supposed to do. But here's what I'm gonna try today, a few things. First of all, I'm gonna empty my ammo. Um, I think, uh, I felt the same way at the start of The Last of Us, right? And the game became much more fun once I realized that I need to just shoot everything. Like, it's not a game for overthinking. It's a game for killing everything. So let's try that. We'll see how much mileage I got out of that plan. You can sneak past enemies that have been knocked down. Okay. Interesting to know. So also, we had a, a guy giving us hints last night. I should use the traps. But here's my fear. My fear is that using the traps to kill every enemy is going to be too involved. It's too risky. Take too much time. Now, if you kill, like, you know, eight of them that way, then one of them kills you. It's a huge waste of time, right? So I'm going to try and empty all of my ammo into these zombones. And then I'm going to uh, try and use the traps. Okay, so, oh my god, this frame rate is legendary. So I've got my gun here. It needs to be reloaded. Alright, so I'm going to go over here. Oh, I can't believe how bad this game looks. I forgot how bad it looks. Okay. Here come some zombies. He's got a, uh, a torch. Alright, get the torch. X button. And then use the torch with the triangle button. There we go. So it's two shots there. Now, are there more zombies coming? Did they hear the sound? Because we, I haven't really, I haven't learned this game's, again, mechanisms yet, right? I don't understand the rules of this game yet. And until I do, oh yeah, I can also use this to get a stealth kill. I probably should have saved the, no, 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 I, I, I feel good about that. Uh, yeah, I think there's no zombies coming. I think that that sh gunshot sound, um, sure, I'm sure it draws zombie attention, but maybe not from as far as you would think. Okay. So I'm already having more fun. I killed the first zombie, two hits in the head. I have this um, bottle now. If I can find an isolated zombie, I can hit him with a bottle. And then uh, get a one-hit kill on him as well. Oh man, this frame rate is truly awful. I know I'm a broken record, but god damn. Just I killed those first two zombones, and now I'm home free. Actually, open doors in this game. You can kick them up or you can open them up slow. I wish this was a first-person perspective. This over-the-shoulder thing is a pretty popular with horror games, as I understand it. But my guy sure takes up a lot of the screen. I was promised that I would get a notification if there are enemies nearby. I think that was a lie. I think it may be only for easy mode. That's what my thinking is now. There are zombones in there for sure. If I go open, go through the door, they're probably just gonna come at me, right? Let's just open the door and see what's good. Okay. Anybody down here? I wonder if they'll respawn if I go save my game. Okay, there's nobody down on this floor, huh? You're gonna get back up and fight me? No. You have no head. Gotta have a head for that. Come on. That's basic. 
So there's nobody down here. There's a window, a few windows I can smash through and escape. But there's guys upstairs, though. I think there's at least two. If I throw a bottle at somebody's face, will they... Will it make a lot of sound to be, like, perceptible to nearby foes? I don't know. So I need to throw this with, a, with the same way I control a gun. L2 and R2. There's somebody out this window, I think, that sees me sometimes. Which is funny, because I can't see them. The window is fucking... I don't know, I don't see nobody. Maybe it's a set piece? Hmm, okay. I see a trip wire here. I've already disarmed it, it seems. Yeah, I don't see the actual wire part of it. Okay, anybody out there? Which would seem not. There's usually, usually somebody right here, right? That's what I thought. But now I don't see them. Good stuff. Okay, so where is everybody? Hey there, bud. Okay, so I made a lot of noise now. I have a bunch of ammo still. Oh, hi. Okay, I can burn him. Nice. So I saved some ammo by doing that. Also, there's more ammo around here, right? Oh shit. That did a lot of fucking damage. Okay, oh, he's still on his feet. I think he's dead for good. Yeah, he has no more head anymore. Okay, so I can use up to use a syringe. Okay, so I'm kind of running low on handgun ammo now, as you would expect. But I passed a bunch of, um... Matches. The match is kind of like... So we, we learned this from a guy that came in last night. That maybe the enemies don't respawn like I thought they would. The match is more like a way to conserve ammo. It's a one-hit kill. If you knock a foe down, you can burn them. Instead of having to kill them another way. That's what I think it's for. So I've killed quite a few of these guys now. Compared to last time. But I need more handgun ammo, or I need a new weapon. Didn't I find... There's matches and shit somewhere. I also can get more bottles now. Okay, and again, if you see a, a foe by himself, without any backup, you can throw a bottle. And there are also traps later on. Further into the village. So I don't know how many foes are left. It's really hard to say. Quite a few, I would think. Okay. Yeah, see, do they spawn here? Sure they do. See, that's so cheap. Hey, Steve, welcome aboard, dude. Dick's missed you, man. Dick's missed you. Yeah, they, they both spawned there, I guess. Because I checked out there before, there's nobody. Oh, there's the matches I was talking about. So, in order to make effective use of my matches, I have to figure out how to knock foes down consistently. Dick says, you're the highlight of my day. Sorry, dick sucker. Okay. So I've killed a few of these guys. That's progress, I think. And again, if I can use my bottle on one of them... Hmm... Interesting. These guys are still dead back here, then. How many more syringes? Can I use another syringe? No, I'm out of syringes. 
hide under the bed, but I don't want to do that. Don't worry, Venka. I did an almost okay job of keeping, my, keeping me entertained. Try my best, man. All right? My best isn't always good enough. Hmm. That's funny. Nada. I remember the last time I got it. If I go save... I'm not gonna go save. I have the foggiest notion what Ven needs to do. I need to open this gate ahead of me. And I got a hint last night that the key to, is the, key to the puzzle is somewhere in the village. But exploring the village is kind of tough with all these zombies around. So I'm just trying to kill all the zombies right now. That's what we're up to. I'm just trying to... And it's a good learning process for the game. You know, I'm learning how to defend myself a little bit better. So if I die and have to start over again, it's not the end of the world. It's a learning process. Okay, so here's the barn. There's the rifleman. There's a torch right there. I really want that torch. What if I went over here? Uh, no, I'm going to save the torch till I use my bottle. There's a guy that falls down here. And I can make him spawn. Oh, I can use a torch. I can use a, a lighter on him, too. The story is mystifying. So what I prefer, uh, this is The Last of Us. So far, The Last of Us. For only, really, one main reason. And that is, this game's graphics literally hurt my head. I think that this game, I would like it a lot more if the frame rate was not so fucking low. Can I burn you now? Okay. You dropped something as well. Brain juice. Yeah, I mean... it's They're pretty close so far. I think the gameplay of this game has more potential. And I think the story of this game has more potential. Even though it's pretty corny Japanese stuff. I still prefer it over the uh, totally obvious, you know, stuff from The Last of Us. This is not as fucking obvious. Yeah. Um, it has more potential, but this goddamn frame rate is absolutely brutal. So can I grab this? I think I can, right? Sure I can. So I want to actually save that until I use the bottle, until I know I need it. So there's a rifleman up there. He doesn't want to shoot me. But I want to get... Oh, wow. He has pretty good fucking aim for a Zombone. Okay, I got some brain juice here. There's at least one more Zombone down there. There's guys in that house, I know for sure. How many guys? I don't know. I think I'd rather have the torch, to be honest. Yeah. Triangle is my melee button. I have to one-hit kill some of these guys. Now, can I climb up there somehow without having to go past the rifleman? Oh, wow. That was interesting. Okay, so there are winners in there, for sure. Okay... How many? I don't know. I have four shots left. That's gonna kill one more zombie. After that, I need to retreat and find a bottle, at the very least. We got traps for days here. I'm not sure where these traps shoot the enemies at. Okay. So I see one guy there. Is he by himself? I think he is. Which means I need to go for a bottle. I can get that later. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to turn his back and then try to get a stealth kill on him. I think he's by himself. That's a uh, triangle button stealth kill. Oh, wrong button! <sighs> I 
Oops. There's another bot out here, right? Sure there is. Ouch. Okay, sneak X. Okay, so yeah, it's not triangle, it's X button for some stupid fucking reason. Fuck. Okay. Same button as grabbing opening doors is stealth kill, not, you know, the actual attack button. Where the fuck did this guy come from? I have no more bottles, though. I think that guy just saw me, but I can actually one-shot them with the torch. Get the torch! <sighs> Fuck! Why did I not equip the fucking... Why is it over here now? How do I... God, I'm, suck I'm fucking salty. Can you just burn the buildings down? That would be sick. The fuck is this? A grenade? This stick grenade is a relic from nearly a hundred years ago. Okay, so I got a grenade now. Hopefully when it kills. Okay. So I got have I have four shots. I'm kinda low on health now. I need to utilize those four shots. Oh here's a crossbow. Okay. Reload ammo ammo change. Heavy projectile. So do I have any ammo for it? Okay, creating agony bolts. Trap parts can be used to make more of any agony bolt you possess. R1, create bolt while agony is selected. Ah, oh, okay. So this is selected now. R1 is make bolt. I need three parts. Change bolt. That's explosive bolts on it right now. So I can make a bunch of explosive bolts. Probably should, right? They only carry so many bolts, it would seem. Here's a grenade. And there's a shotgun I don't have yet. So I need to put this on down on the D-pad. This on right. Up is my healing button. Agony Crossbow shoots Venka's current opinion of the game at incoming enemies. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Templar. Yeah. I'm actually, like, right now, I'm enjoying this way more than I ever enjoyed The Last of Us. Again, the gameplay, I think, has more potential than The Last of Us did. But The Last of Us was much more straightforward. For better or worse. Again, this game, I don't really understand it yet. But I feel like when I do, it'll be a lot more fun than The Last of Us. So I have no bottles or anything. Can I get a bottle or something? No. So I'm going to have to use my actual handgun, I think. I have agony bolts. So that's pretty neat. I should probably see what this looks like, huh? Okay, got a little arc to it. I think I have explosive bolts on right now. I have to use this to kill a zombone, I think. Look out for traps. If I get blown up by a trap, it's game over at this point. There's a bottle. Okay. So anybody over here? And again, I have to really look out for traps. This game's traps are kind of nefarious. They're kind of hard to see sometimes. Especially with this game's goddamn... Everything's so dark. The resolution is ass. The frame rate is goddamn unforgivable. And, uh... It has this film grain effect. So it makes traps pretty hard to see. I would turn film grain off, but I think I've heard that film grain is good for compression. For YouTube and Twitch. I looked at my footage from last night and it seemed to be a little bit iffy. But I can't tell you if that's because of the film grain or what. Getting blown by a trap doesn't have to be game over, though. Wow, Templar. Wow. 
I mean, wow. Wow. I like that, though, Templar. I like that. That was, uh, you know, one of the better puns we've had so far. We have some pretty good ones, too. It's probably not an all-timer. We have some pretty good puns on this channel. It's probably not an all-timer, but it's, it's up there. Shotgun shells. I'm already full of shotgun shells. Can I load my shotgun and have more room like in The Last of Us? So you can't have all your stuff equipped at one time. Let's unequip the handgun. Put on the shotgun instead. Shotgun's already reloaded. Okay, so we're going to try some experiments here with these weapons. This game's already actually way more interesting. Now that I've kind of been getting some, making some progress here, again, the gameplay is much stronger. I'm more, the, you know, the loot is more interesting already. It's more of a challenge in many respects. I have to use my brain more often, make more decisions about like what I. How did you get it open so quickly? You're welcome to give it a try. Please, time is of the essence. It is imperative we find Leslie before anything should happen to him. See, the, we heard that cinematic last time. What does it mean? How did you get it open so quickly? How did I get what open so quickly? You're welcome to try. That's was that badly translated? I don't understand what the fuck they're talking about. Fair and Swamp, yeah, exactly, the home of puns. They just grew on me, I know. Whenever I think of puns, I still think of Fair and Swamp. Got a health kit. I should use that now. Yeah. Well, I have syringes too. But we're gonna use the health kit. Now's the time for it. Okay. Raise my max health a little bit and it fully heals me. Oh, it, oh, yeah. You don't want to use that in combat. I thought it'd be good in combat. Look what it does to you. It makes you all drunk. Okay. That's interesting to know. Experiment number four. Okay. Subject numbers four through 13. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've already heard all this. But synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing mm, a shared okay. consciousness. Previous trials indicated rapid deterioration of consciousness. Their minds I can look through the window. Mass. There's the rifleman. Mental carrier. So he can't see me, but I can see him. I get a free shot on him here. If I want to Might be a balance against using it in combat. Yeah, it totally is Templar, of course. I, I totally agree. But uh, you would think it would be useful in combat. Like, it, the gimmick behind it is that it fully restores your health. And it raises your max health. So your instinct as a gamer right away is to want to spend it, right? Because it, gives, it raises your max health. But because it totally refills your health, I thought that they were balancing it the opposite way. That, you know, you want to spend it right away to raise your max health, but you actually want to wait. Because you want to wait till you need it, right, in combat. But apparently not so much. So I can shoot him from here. That's what they want me to do, I think. What if I fired my bolt? How come you can't see me? Does it go through windows? I don't see the arc anymore. No, see, it's, it's going to stop at the window. I have to smash the window first. Well, let's make sure there's no other zombones around before we do that. So it's an item designed to top you off and ready you for combat. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, it, I, I was making it like it's, uh, you know, it had to be one or the other. But no, I think that it's really designed for, like, you know, you still have to put it off using it. You have to make sure that you're, you know, you want to put it off until you're low on health, is what I'm saying. You know, it, it's not necessarily for combat, but... So if I smash this window, is he going to hear me? The rifleman? I can smash it with triangle button. Right? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he sees me now. I want to use an agony bolt on him, though. Oh, yo, that's a one hit kill. And they, oh, what, I hear some guys maybe churning around. They're, now they're going up there. Yeah, because they heard the explosion. Oh. So they're going up there to check it out. Okay, but they don't see nothing. So this guy's coming now. I don't know how many. I have a shotgun now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I, how many of those guys I killed just now. I wish I, I wish I knew how loud the. I hear guys smashing windows. Okay. I got a checkpoint for what? Did I kill all the zombies? And my light came out. Has my light been on for very long. So I still have a shotgun. And I still have a round, I still have an explosive bolt. I killed the rifleman. Here's an axe. Survival horror in the sense that Doom is a survival horror game, apparently. Well, I don't know. I think this is kind of like a combat-centric mission here. But I think that much more so than The Last of Us, I'm really nervous about managing my inventory. Which I think is a big part of survival horror, as I understand it. So that's kind of interesting. It's already more interesting in that respect. I think everybody's dead. Oh, here's somebody. I want a big got a whiff. Okay, I want to do a whiff so I can hit a triangle on you. Okay, so one shot killed him with the axe. But it got used up as well. So it's kind of like the torch in that respect. It's a one hit kill, only have one use. There's another zombone over there. Yeah, I don't have a, I wish I had another bottle. I could probably go find one. It would make more sense to, to not use ammo. Because in this game, the ammo is kind of rare. So I want to go find a bottle or something I can use to smash that guy's face. They seem to be by them. Oh, wait, why are there guys back there? Where did they come from? Are guys respawning? Hmm. I wish I understood. Here's a bottle that I wanted. There's two guys back there. I don't know. Why are there two guys there now? What's the side I came from? You got a fucking weapon, too. Oops. Okay. So, that guy, did he hear me? Doesn't seem that way. He was a different kind of foe. He was one of those guys with the, with the cords around him. What the fuck is going on? I want to sneak up behind this guy and get the stealth kill. Another checkpoint. What the hell is going on here with these fucking checkpoints and shit? Handgun, man, handgun ammo. 
Okay, so once again, I used up that bottle I had to go kill her with. Those guys were different, I think. They must have spawned in when the game checkpointed or something? Maybe they're the last of their kind? Got a little more handgun ammo now. But once again, I wish I had a bottle to kill this guy over here with. Hmm, it's okay. Here's one. Yeah, the way the game aims is intentionally um, hard to handle. In, in Last of Us, the shooting was pretty straightforward because it's kind of a shooting game. This is more of a horror game. So the shooting is a little bit shakier. I want to get behind them. Here's my chance. Here we go. Okay, I didn't even need to use the bottom. I assume she's dead for good. I don't think she's gonna respawn. I don't think those guys behind me were respawned. When I killed them both, I got another checkpoint. I don't know where the hell they came from. Pretty sure I've cleared this place out already? Maybe not. I guess maybe I don't think I've been in here yet, have I? I think we're we've killed all of our foes here. I'm gonna make triply sure though. Here's another trap. He's watching, we can't leave. Interesting. You just armor from this side, I think. Okay. So those, those traps parts are now for making explosive bolts. That's really important for me now. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Just from today's gameplay, I feel like this guy likes game more than The Last of Us. Because The Last of Us... Dispatching foes was... Really brain dead. I mean, you only had a couple ways to go about doing it. And it was pretty straightforward. This game, it seems to be more thought-provoking how you take care of these enemies. It has its flaws, though, for sure. But I'm having more fun now than I did during the vast majority of The Last of Us. I'm not going to sneak anymore. There's really no purpose to it, right? Because I'm pretty sure all the enemies are dead. I'm just not totally sure. They make a lot of noise, though, right? If they're alerted to me, they go like, rah, rah, as zombies are wont to do. Got some bolts. Harpoon bolt. It impales opponents. Okay, not sure why I'd want to do that. Rather than just, I mean, you just want to blow them up, right? Maybe they take less um, parts to make or something. Oh, I have to be very careful. Yeah, don't run around. That's another incentive to not run around is the fucking traps. Right. Right. So, even though there's, I think the foes are all dead, I don't know what traps I may have missed. And those can really ruin your day. Okay. Yeah, I'm concerned about respawning foes. I wish I understood how that worked. I mean, they're zombones, right? If you kill them, do they stay dead? If you don't, like, blow them up in some way? It seems kind of weird that the game has so many ways to blow up your enemies. And it has ways to burn enemies when they're on the ground, including ones you've already knocked down. I don't know, like, why... What's your incentive... To burn a body that's already dead. Why would that have that be an option? Here's a trap. I'm gonna be on this side, disarm it. Why is he standing up? I swear I'm holding on the fucking button. Jesus. 
I hear somebody making sounds. How come I can't disarm this fucking thing? How close do I gotta get? Am I on the wrong side? I'm on the wrong side. I hear somebody making sounds around here. Oh yeah, there's two guys that spawn back here, right. And they're definitely a couple. So I can't really just use my bottle strategy. I could burn one if I can find his body quick. There's nobody up there, I don't think. They're down here. They're like laying in the dirt. But I can't see. There's one up there, I think. Yeah, somebody's making... Oh, here he is. There's somebody. Are you by yourself, my dude? Seems that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there's guys back here that spawn. I can probably burn them real quick. There's another guy over there, though. Interesting. I don't see any guys. I don't see any bodies back here. It's so fucking dark. I see rocks. Maybe I'm wrong. So there are still guys alive around here. This area is uh, pretty more complex than it first seems. Is that a... Yeah, here's a bear trap. Almost stepped into it. Last time I stepped into one, didn't seem to do anything. I have no clue what it does. If you were to fall into one unawares. So another bottle would be nice. But I've used up a lot of these bottles lately. I've got plenty of trap parts, but those bolts seem pretty... There's another zombie back there. Are they respawning? I have the harpoon shots. Okay. He's coming this way. Here's a bottle. I'm going to try and avoid using it if I can. So far the zombies don't seem to turn around with it like they do in uh, The Last of Us. Another random checkpoint. Why is it checkpointing like that? Because I'm killing zombies and it's just rewarding me maybe? <laughs> Where are these guys coming from? Are they just spawning in, do you think? Maybe you can't just kill every foe. So back here is where that other guy was. There's another person up there! Maybe you can't really kill them all. Okay. Fuck. The fuck? She didn't get stunned? I think she, I don't know, couldn't tell if she's dead or not. No, she's still good, it seems. Okay. Left some handgun ammo, that's pretty neat. So I got four shots in the shotgun. It takes two shots to kill him, I think. I have no clue if he's got a respawning or what the hell the deal is with this. Maybe she was just always up here. I guess I never did come in here. There's still a guy down here, I think. Let's 
surprised you didn't hear the shotgun blast. I don't know how they how their hearing works. Okay, have I been in there? Sure, I have. I know there's guys that spawn around here somewhere. Okay, there's a rope going up there for some reason. Brain juice. Dash pretty neat. So I can't open this door from this side. I want to go around town smashing all the crates, but this guy, I don't know if they're respawning or what the hell the deal is. The crates have a lot of good stuff in them, oh, a lot of the time. Maybe they're just wandering around, I've never tripped across some of these guys last time. Okay, well, I've got a bottle, which is pretty good. There are explosive traps around here. I should go disarm them before I forget. If you're not walking near a wall, you're safe from the explosive traps. They're the, they're the only real danger. I mean, the trip wires are pretty easy to see. But these explosives on the wall are fucking um, stealth mode. There's one right here. You only have one chance to disarm him too, which sucks. Okay, I think there's at least one more. Can I smash these crates? Okay, nothing good in those ones. Got syringe back here, that's pretty neat. Handgun ammo. Excellent, excellent. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't like these exploding traps, man. I don't like the game design behind them. They make you have to crawl everywhere. Or walk real slow. Even there are no foes around, because they do a shit ton of damage, and they go off really fast if you're walking past them. I can kick this down. I'm not sure why I would though. Doesn't go nowhere. Terribly interesting. I don't think. Okay. So I killed these guys a long time ago. But I don't know if they're going to be respawning what the hell the deal is. <coughs> okay. Alright, let's go back up. Okie dokie. Alright, again, I have to be very careful of these wall traps. They can basically one-shot you. And again, if you're running past them, there's not a lot you can do. Once you hear that beep, 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 it's too late. If you're walking slow, um, the beep, beep, beep actually doesn't... It's not a countdown. It's not a timer. It just means you're in proximity. So if you're walking slow enough, um, it'll beep, 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 and then you can still um, stop and then back up or sneak. If you're sneaking, you're invincible to the blast. You, have to, you can disarm them. 
while you're sneaking. But again, if you're standing up, if you're not sneaking, chances are you're jogging. And if you're jogging, then the beep 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 is too late, because you're already walking past it, you can't stop suddenly. And that means you just walked in proximity, you fucking dead, son. You are dead. Okay. So I can go even higher. Seems like I've killed everybody here. So there's no more wall traps. Around here. I wish that they would beep when you were sneaking. But they don't. They only beep... If you're, uh... Standing up. Yeah, those crates have really good stuff in them sometimes. So that means that if you snuck past an area, you thought there's no traps, you go back later on standing up, you're blown up. Because they don't notify you that you're nearby if you're sneaking. But you are invincible to them while you're sneaking. Some trap parts. Got another key here. Some matches I'm full up on. Some more brain juice. Quite a lot of it. Can I smash this with my bare hands? Yes. Get the key. Okay. I kinda... Sorta wanna go and spend my skill points and see if when I come back the enemies are all still dead. Okay. I feel like I just heard some zombones. Here's some more brain juice I missed somehow. Some other zombones other than this guy. Some maybe some respawning ass zombones. Oh look at this guy, here he is. Who are you and where'd you come from? Oh. Maybe you've been walking around down there the whole time? And the corpse's mount. Got a trophy for killing guys, I guess. So now I'm out of uh, bottles. Kind of want to fucking look up whether or not enemies respawn in this game. That's going to really affect my strategy that I use. And it's kind of cheap that the game doesn't just make it clear. So then the, the plan I use is going to change based on whether they respawn or not. Sure, you could take his weapon to one shot kill. Yeah, that would be nice. Here's another bottle. Yeah, some of them do, some of them don't. Some do drop their weapons, some don't. Yeah, maybe the guys I don't burn come back. Or maybe they just spawn anyway. Maybe no, no matter how you kill them, they'll respawn. They just spawn if you're far enough away, you know what I mean? A lot of Japanese games would do that. Seems pretty weird. I have no clue if enemies respawn or not. Okay. Can I... I think I just heard somebody. Can't break that, it seems. Anybody want to fight me? I have a bottle. Use my imagination. Okay. Let's climb this. We're gonna shoot that idol right there. Get the key. There's also some loot up here that I didn't get last time. I think there's still foes around here somewhere that, that rise up off the ground that I have to fight them. There's two of them. Don't know why I didn't pass them yet. What the fuck is this thing? A flash bolt. A warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which can blind opponents, okay? So they can be stealth killed. Okay, so there's more than one. That might be a good option. I wonder how long they stay blinded. Yeah, lots of goodies here. And I can shoot this, uh... I'm gonna equip my handgun real quick by doing this number. Then I'm um, going to the handgun and clicking left. I also want to go to the syringes and click up. There we go. So now I gotta go left. I wanna pick up that bottle when I'm done. Okay, so where's that bottle end up? If you change your weapons, you drop whatever you're holding, which is really annoying. 
Okay, so now I can drop down here. Can I climb fast at L1? No. I mean, if enemies are respawning, they're definitely respawning either very slowly or in very few numbers. Because this area before had, had an insanely large zombie population. And now it's, even if they're respawning, it's much more manageable. I wouldn't say it's not worth it to kill the zombies because they respawn. These crates have such good stuff in them compared to, you know, other games. Like, they have some sick loot. They have, like, a lot of skill points sometimes. They have ammunition, which is very important in this game. It's worth smashing them. Okay. So... Now I want to go save my game and see if the enemies are going to all respawn or not. Also, I need to make some more uh, bolts. I need to go to the uh, this, and I want to make all the bolts I can carry. Change bolt. Flash bolt. Change bolt. I'm already maxed on harpoon bolts. Okay. So I need to also change my handgun off, right? Yeah, I want to have the shotgun equipped instead. So you go over to the shotgun, then you hit left. I have four clip, stock two, max four. So I guess that means that if they're in the stock, then you they don't count against your ammo count or something. Yeah. Clip one. Okay. Interesting. And grenades as well. I never used a grenade yet. Let's go save our game and then see if like the enemies all respawn. Right now, they're pretty much all dead. There might be a couple left somewhere, the guys that come off the ground especially. But I think they're pretty much all dead. So if we, resp if we go save the game and come back, there's like lots of guys, then we'll know for the future to manage our saving better. Okay. Anybody alive in here? Which would seem not. Can I grab any of this stuff? No, I'm still full on matches. There's lots of matches around. Okay, mm, dokey. So we can go here and save and then see what happens if we come back. You've been expected. Have I? Okay, so let's go... You didn't have to load or anything, that's kind of cool. This must always be loaded in, this area. If I have keys, can I go open these ones over here? These are like... letter boxes. No. Is the ammo still there that I didn't get last time? Yes. So you can come here and restock. That's pretty neat. Got some handgun ammo here. Okay. Some brain juice. Ooh, I got a lot of brain juice. Let's go level up a little bit. That one closed because it, uh, it's all empty now. Gotcha. Okay. Excuse me, lady person. Can I talk to you at all? If I come from this side? Do you have dialogue for me? Mm, doesn't seem that way. Just a save point. Skill points. Lots of skill points. He's used to it. Okay, so let's check all this stuff. 
Life gauge level up. Sprint time. Melee damage. Syringe recovery. All those are good. Why are those weapons up last time? Why are these all at level 1? Oh, look, I rose my ammunition. Oh, yeah, because I, I couldn't quite afford these, right. Or what? I thought I raised these up. North Carolina. So I had 3 out of 5 on that. Shotgun ammunition. I want to be able to carry more of those. Syringes. Got to be able to carry more of those, too. Matches? No. Agony bolts. Can level them up. Explosive charge can increase damage. Affects enemies in a 3 meter radius. But damage decreases the further away. I see. Flash bolts. 4 seconds. Enemy blindness. Okay. Harpoon bolts. Inflicts extra damage on enemies struck. Okay. These are way more interesting than the ones in uh, anything in Last of Us, upgrade-wise. Shotgun ammo. Agony bolts. I can make these at will, though. So I don't need to have that capacity increased very much. Syringes, I'm using them pretty fast. Matches, fuck them. Let's raise this, for sure. Syringes? We'll raise it by one. I want to raise that again, kind of. But it might make more sense to go with the damage now. Charge time. Okay. Range. Reload time. Fire rate... Clip capacity. That's kind of the same thing as adding more ammo. Because you can have stuff in the clip. Interesting. But if you raise the damage multiplier, you increase the effectiveness of your ammo, right? So you need less of it. Accuracy is pretty good. The sway on the reticule. Interesting. It's not very expensive. But the rest of the guns don't have that. Only the handgun. Sway. Critical? No. Oh, it raises the chance of killing him with a headshot. Max is at 50%. Interesting. That would be good for saving ammo as well. Again, see? Interesting decisions, right? All these are good. And they're all going to change the way you use your weapons. It changes the way you decide to use what and when. Clip capacity. Plus one? Uh, no. Twenty percent more damage. Shotgun has a damage multiplier as well. That kills in two shots right now. I think the handgun is probably more useful. Sure it is. The shotgun is uh, a good tool in close quarters for sure. But the handgun is good for sniping. It's good for you know you can lay you can empty shots into a foe more than one at a time. But it takes a lot more shots to kill. Weapon sway would be nice to have that reduced. It's pretty affordable right now. But it seems like it's secondary to these other things. And again, how's my stock? I could raise I could have I can carry more handgun ammo. Or more shotgun ammo. That's pretty. I feel good about that. Four thousand is a lot of points, though. More shotgun ammo. Let's just do that and live with it. So I can still raise one more thing. I can't raise my syringes yet. I don't think I want to. Oh, this is gonna be the last syringe level up. For only five thousand. Okay, that'd be a good thing to max out. But when you get, so far, I've not had anywhere near close to max syringes. Well, actually, no, I take it back. I have. I've come to two a few times. Accuracy. 
That would help with long range shots, which is its advantage over the shotgun, right? So maybe we should do that. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's, um... I raise the clip capacity, though. How about clip capacity of the shotgun? Plus one in the clip. Or 20% more damage on this. Oh, I can't afford it. Extra one in the clip. From four to five. Five shots instead of... I can't imagine needing to fire it that often. One, two, three, four. Now we'll save it for the multiplier on the damage on this handgun. That was fun. Okay, so now we can go finally save. And then leave this horrid place. And then see if the enemies all respawned. I'm quite curious about that. Okay. How have I only been playing for three and a half hours? That seems suspect. Okay, so let's go here. Let's reload my handgun. Okay. Let's go see if all the enemies are respawned. Or if some of them are respawned, you know what I mean? Maybe they wouldn't respawn all of them on me, but they might respawn some. If there's no punishment to going saving, that would be actually, you know, very forgiving. Okay. I hear some bassy, bassy, bassy bass I don't remember from before. It could just be, you know, some bassy bass. Maybe I just don't remember it. I swear it's, it seems awfully ominous, though. Here's a good vantage point. Okay, I don't see nobody. I can't look down any further? That's weird. Okay. I think they're all still dead. So I'm gonna walk around standing up now. I just saved, so you know if I get blown up, it's not a big deal. Let's smash this though. I mean, you don't heal when you save or anything, so it kind of makes sense they wouldn't respawn foes. But again, in a game like this, you're supposed to have a lot of tension, right? Where, uh, where you're afraid that you're gonna die and lose a lot of progress. But I guess you know, the longer you go without checkpointing, the more tension there is. So. You know, strictly from a game design level, I mean. So it kind of makes sense. How can we look out some windows and not other ones? It kind of makes sense if they uh, respawn some foes when you checkpoint. Otherwise, you can save for free. Which is, uh, again, as a guy who's prone to salt and to tension, I'm reassured if I could save for free, that'd be a huge load off my mind. And so far, it seems to be the case. But I can see why they wouldn't want me to. Okay. Nada. I smash this. Bloop. Brain juice. It's locked. I can't kick it open either. I swear I came through here last time. Can I shoot the lock off of a door or something? We should try it, right? I want my handgun, though. Um, so I'm gonna go to my handgun and click left. Hmm. 
Mm, no. Okay. Interesting. I thought I'd come through there before, but whatever. All right, so now we want to finally advance the game a bit. And we do that by going in here and seeing what's up with this guy. Mr. Noisy. Hey there, Mr. Noisy. Why so noisy? Uh, I can drop down if I jumped in there, but why do I want to? Fuck. Oh my god! It didn't damage me. I gotta wait in time. Wow. Okay, well that works for me. Can't jump over this. Alright. There's a weird pig sound. Guess because there's a pig there, huh? Alright, well... I don't know what to do with that guy in there. Oh, there's a ch chest back here. Disarm this. Is this where those zombones were that rise up? North Carolina style? Bloop. Nada. Bloop. Nada. This one you have to open up real slow. Hold it open. Open a chest all the way to reveal its contents. If the chest is trapped, opening only partway will disarm the trap. I saw the trap, but I didn't see it enough, I guess. Here we go. Okay, so I disarmed it. Get some shotgun shells. I'm full on the bolts there. Okay. Fucking treasure chest. Again, it's, that's tongue-in-cheek, though. I respect that. Where's my bottle? Did I have a bottle? I guess I didn't have a bottle, huh? Back here, some guys are gonna rise up, I think. Even though I don't see their bodies. No, am I wrong about that? Guess I'm wrong about that. So what's going on up here? The constant roaring doesn't irritate you? It does, kind of. Welcome aboard, Lil B. Breezy. It kind of does. Here's a bottle and some brain juice. It's awfully quiet back here. A little bit too quiet, if you ask me. Okay, I feel like I'm sinking down in my chair here. Hey there, bud. You wanna come out here and fight me or something? What the fuck? Here's another one of these guys. He's got a torch, which is nice. So, I mean, do those guys that respawn or what? Maybe if you kill foes, those guys respawn and take their place? I mean, those guys have, like, the, the wire in their heads and stuff. Those guys seem to be the guys that I fought. I mean, he spawned when I walked in the corner. That was a, a jump scare that was pre-programmed in. And if I come in from this side, he's not here. If I go that way, he spawns in here. I don't know. I don't fully get it. Okay. So, yeah. There's some kind of weird puzzle here. It wants me to figure out how to open this thing. And I had a hint has to do with the guy in the in the shed. I have no clue in what capacity. What? Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe oh. a chainsaw or something. 
So we got a new dialogue since I killed all the foes here or something. That's obnoxious. Like, that's a pretty good hint, I guess. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. So, what, is that guy in there got a chainsaw? I have to make him lure him over here and then dodge an attack so he chops it or something? I should go save again now that I've killed a couple more guys and I got that, uh, that treasure and stuff. This guy, I don't want to kill, I don't, excuse me. I don't want him to kill me and then I have to lose all my progress. So let's go save again, I guess. We we'll have this cool torch. The torch is godlike. I can go level up as well. Raise my handgun damage. The worrying type, I see. That's cute. She's punishing me for coming back and saving again so soon. Save my handgun damage. So I can carry more ammo now. Okay. Probably grab some more ammo too while I'm at it. Okay. Run back here, grab some ammunition. That's full. This isn't. Okay. Now, let's say, what if I... Is my shotgun already all loaded up? Where is it? Here it is. Clip 8. So I already have 4 in the clip, so it's already maxed out. I'm not carrying my torch anymore. Hmm. Okay, let's go over here, run over here, come out here, save the game, and then go see if we can figure out how to free this guy. Maybe I couldn't before because I didn't hear that dialogue. Hmm, maybe something, 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 something. Maybe chainsaw, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so let's leave through here. See, yeah, I don't have my torch anymore. I'm sad. These all, these things respawn. I think they're gonna have their stuff. Look, it's, it's got more brain juice. What the fuck? If the enemies don't respawn, and they, they must somehow. You could just respawn all the fucking crates and then just re-smash them again? Or did I just never smash that crate? I guess I must have never smashed that crate. So I got the dialogue now. Blah, chainsaw, blah, blah, blah. I gotta set this guy free or something. Oh, okay, so I got the dialogue now. Hey there, bro. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I'm out of stamina? That's a shame. What the fuck do you want from me, man? Do I have to kill this guy, maybe? Probably have to kill him, huh? And get his chainsaw. That would make sense. Should have thought of it sooner. Wish I hadn't wasted that ammo. Okay. Ooh, you hate when that happens. So yeah, I'm gonna go with my shotgun and just empty my clip into him and see if that helps. Or I should probably just use an explosive round, huh? Explosive bolt.
Yeah, I couldn't kill them last time, but I had no ammo last time either. I could also lure them into those buildings and use the traps on them. Maybe that's what they want me to do. Okay. What an unfortunate chain of events. Steve! You son of a bitch. Okay, smash that. Get the brain juice. I wonder if bottles work on them. Probably not, right? If only you had a sniper to shoot that Nazi zombie in the head over and over again, because they take forever to kill. If only you had a sniper to shoot that Nazi zombie in the head over and over again, because they take forever to kill. You Have you played this game, Templar? You tell me that that guy takes a long time to kill? Uh, no, 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 no. I need to change my gear. I don't want the... No, no, I, I'm, I have what I want right now. No, no, I want the shotgun instead of the handgun. Okay. But I don't want... I just want to use the explosive bolts, really. Hey there, bud. No, he seems invincible to those. What about this? Okay. I think he took damage from that. Okay. Ow. Wow, he's got a lot of fucking health. Well, I don't want to be in this corner. So I want to go to my shotgun now. I think he's dead. Okay. So, two explosive bolts and a shotgun. Chainsaw. The teeth of this old, well-worn chainsaw are caked with all sorts of things. What, I get to keep this? Representing the joke from yesterday, where he's a Nazi zombie that found work for the Nazi zombie army. I see. Oh, hey there, bud. He looks so much like that from Neo. Instead of wearing black, he's wearing white. This is his fucking brother, confirmed. I better hold on to this. Ooh, skill points. So I really have a chainsaw now, huh? Oh, it's a key item. Okay, yeah, it's not really a chainsaw. I can't really use it. Let's go check out that barn before I do anything else. That was lame, That how they put that together. I had to clear the map and then go talk to the chain and then come back in here. That was quite stupid. Oh, there's another place I want to check, too, before I advance. I just remembered, there's a spot I hadn't checked that I wanted to check. Okay, that one's clean. I'm already full on the ammo here. Hey, Ikmolrielf! Just found the worst fucking game in existence. What is it, Ikmolrielf? Welcome back, dude. What's the worst fucking game in existence? I gotta know. Save me the trouble of finding it, so I don't have to find it by accident. It was I bought it because I was curious. Okay. What do they say about curiosity? Let's run over here. And I want to go inside this building. Let's reload the gun. Ikmorial. Icky Momo. AKA Ikmo. Curiosity killed the bank account. The worst fucking game in existence is called Skylight Free Range 2. Gokduin. You have to explain that to me. It's on PS4. Skylight Free Range 2. Tell me, the, tell me this tale, Ikmo. Tell me your tale. How much did it cost? Why did you buy it? You said you were curious, right? But why? And why is it the worst game in existence? Okay, here's some shells. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm gonna go see what's up here. I don't know, as I recall, one of the worst games ever was a truck driving simulator, which was just barely functional. Even then, it wasn't really functional. Yeah, but that was kind of like a joke. It's become a joke, at least. 
Can I go up there or no? That's what I want to check out. I guess not. It's just a jump scare. Fifteen dollars! So why are you so curious? That's a lot of fucking money. Why so curious? Why fifteen dollars worth of curiosity? Had a, a funny trailer or something? What could have driven you to such mad curiosity, my dude? Look up the trailer. That's boring, Ikmo. I wanted to hear your take on it. My brother loves the newest truck simulators. Yeah, you mean uh, Euro Truck Simulator and things like that. Yeah, uh, Templar's talking about big rigs. Big rigs, I think it's called. But yeah, Euro Truck Simulator and US Truck Simulator are both damn fine games. Yeah, Big Rigs is the one that's notorious for being trash. A chainsaw would not cut that. <laughs> a shitty version of Roblox. That's for a different generation than me. I've only seen Roblox played once. It was on Wait, stream. Over here. You son of what? Wait, uh, officer. Uh, you must take me with you. Detective. Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. Gotcha. Then throws the chainsaw away, yeah. He's a smart guy. That chapter was pretty fucking cool. Once I started to understand it better. He's gotta know when to kill zombies. I, was, I, had, I had some soul searching, right? Um, last night. And it's like, you save ammo for situations where you need to kill a lot of foes, right? That was the situation. There was a lot of foes. Use your ammo. Take them out. Ikmo says, It's open world. is too empty for it to be as big as it is. Its characters are bland as shit. The story... The fuck is this bullshit of a story? There's a cult and they're bad. That doesn't sound so bad to me so far, Ikmo. I mean, you described a lot of... <laughs> you described a lot of AAA games just now. <laughs> Okay. It does look a shitty version of Roblox. Okay, I'm gonna save again just to be triply sure. Okay. Let's see what's good here in the next chapter. I hear that this the frame rate stabilizes after chapter three. Hey, Ikmo, be careful. That's what I said about uh, The Last of Us. What a fucking groundbreaking plot. I'm actually very much enjoying it, though. You mean just laughing at it? Or you mean, like, the gameplay? To me, the worst games are not the ones that are, like, laughably bad. The worst ones are the ones that are really fucking boring. To me, those are the worst games of all time. If I can enjoy a game, it can't be the worst game of all time. Okay. Dr. Anthony Hopkins, as Templar would say. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? No, Just Templar, this is my first ever, like, survival horror game ever. He'll take us in. I have no clue about Dead Space question. or Silent Hill or nothing. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, I can't catch up to him. Too. I can't run, I can't jog. Okay, so... What the fuck? Oh, he's gonna follow me now. Okay. Oh, Skylight Fear Inch 2 makes this game look like Silent Hill 2. I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I've never played Silent Hill. But so far I'm enjoying this game a lot more than The Last of Us. I'm kind of down with it right now. I promised that the frame rate would get better soon, though. It still seems like ass. I heard that uh, chapter through chapter three is where it has bad frame rate in this game. Dead Space would be fun to fun to watch him play, but I'd feel bad uh, putting more obstacles between him and Neo. Mm mm, Neo. So far, of all the worst games I played on stream, which would be this game. The Last of Us and Neo. I would say that Neo is the worst. I saw something move. 
Neo Automata. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I hear somebody. Oh, hi there, bud. Um. Looks like this guy's eating well. Bloop. Burn him! Ooh, how does it feel? So shotgun put him on his back, and I could use the, uh... I thought the shotgun didn't put the other guys on their back. Maybe it's only for fat guys. Could use this, too. Yes, I do dislike this game, make more reels. But, uh, I'm not... Again, uh... Of all the games I've played so far that I didn't like, I, this one is the one that I dislike the least. There's uh, this game on top, and then there's The Last of Us, and there's Neo at the bottom. Above this game is um, Bloodborne. But yeah, if I had to say, if I had to give a hard, you know, a hard review right now, I don't like this game. But I feel like I am liking it more, and in a few more hours, I might change my tune. Because honestly, I think this game has a lot of potential be very honest. I would actually not be surprised at all if in two hours' time I was saying this game is awesome. But uh, right now, for the first you know three hours I played it, nah, not really. What are you saying? My favorite game of all time? Favorite game of all time. Favorite game of all time. Well, that's tough. I've played a lot of genres, right? So you obviously want to say, well, you can't compare apples and oranges. If we're talking about games that I like from my heart, not as a reviewer, you know, not as a critical person, Saints Row 2. Saints Row 2. Favorite game of all time. That's my personal favorite game of all time. It's... Shooting is, you know, third-person shooting, it's not anything special. But it got me in a time in my life where it was just what I needed. The, the Dolly dress-up has never been outdone. I love Dolly Dress Up. The world is fun to explore. It's one of my big things in gaming. The plot is uh, really, really fun. And the um, gameplay is very competent. So yeah, I think that Saints Row 2 is the game I probably spent the most time in for any single game. I would say it's probably still my favorite game of all time. But again, that's not being critical. If you, if you asked me like, what was the best designed game of all time, it would be a different story. If Ven's main issue is graphics, and it's in a good spot. Exactly, I agree, Steve. That's my main issue right now, is the graphics. This game is in a pretty good spot. It's just... I'm not the biggest fan of it. There's a trap there. There we go. Granted. That reminds me. Skylight Free Range's camera? Holy fucking shit, it's terrible. But Ikmo, you said you're enjoying it. That's what I want to hear about. I want to hear more about how, why you're enjoying it. What's the story, dude? What do you like? Do you find it funny that it's so bad and so you're enjoying it in that respect? Or are there actually things about it that you like? Okay, I got a bottle. Baby bottle pop. Baby bottle pop. Yeah, this frame rate is goddamn horrible. And the camera angle, I could, I wish, was better. Hey, k Ray, welcome aboard, dude. 3S was pretty slow today. My training session was awesome, though. It hurt my head, though, because I had to think so much. But uh, in a good way. I can't wait to do the next uh, training session. I like the combat system, where you switch between characters and weapons throughout the fight. So what is it, like an RPG or something? What's the genre? This is where I came from, huh? That's what it looks like. How was your day, K-Reich? Man, trap. These, these crates are fucking godlike in this game. What did I do? I practiced execution for a while, like uh, 45 minutes in training mode for doing combos. Um, you know, it was, it was acceptable. I tried to do some meditating as well, but it didn't really work out that well. I was too busy talking to actually really meditate and focus on um, what I wanted to internalize. And then I fought a little bit brazy for a while, a little grims for a while. I feel like I was making some good adjustments. So I feel like I was using my brain more. 
And so I enjoyed it. Hmm. Well, there's a big area to explore. Is that a straight up ghost? That was a fucking ghost! Yo. Spooky ass October. Spooky ass October. This game's got zombies and ghosts. That wasn't no fucking zombie. That was a ghost. It's an RPG, and it's probably the only game ever to take place in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nova Scotia, huh? We must be going. Shut up, asshole. Is he gonna kill me if I take waste too much time? He's talking a lot of sweet shit. Was that bubbling brain juice? Uh, probably. There's there's bubbling brain juice on the ground sometimes. I don't know what causes it. When some foes die, they leave like a puddle of brain juice. It's kind of like the, the stuff that you find in the jars, but there's usually more of it if it's bubbling on the ground. Yeah, I had fun today. Uh, what? Oh. You have to tap X to do this. Okay, that's better than uh, The Last of Us, where it was kind of like awkwardly handled automatically. I had fun in 3S today, dude. I, I wish I could have gotten more sets, to be honest. I wish I could have just played all night like that, and just. but uh, the lobby is cool, too. I love that lobby. I wish I had more time. I still don't kill. I wish I had more time to play 3S, but there's really not. My life is very, very busy with the stream. Believe it or not. Oh, well, that was cool. I have to be careful of traps, man. You have to respect the traps. Villagers note. They got Norman. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'll be next. That lore is really lame. They had another message like that before as well. It was like, what's the point of that? But I consider playing Skylight Free Range too. For yucks? Uh, depends. Uh, how long is it? Might be worth playing just for yucks. You know, if I could do it, if I could knock it out in a stream or two. Skylight Free Range 2. Oh, there's the bubbling. That's what uh, Templar was talking about. I just walked right past it like a scrub. We must be going. These guys must like spawn in at some point. This is definitely not a place where. This is not a place where. You wouldn't have zombies. This place is too damn big and interesting. If this frame rate was not fucking 18 frames a second, I wouldn't be so goddamn disoriented all the time. It's like I can't even tell what I'm looking at half the time. I'm turning my camera around. God fucking damn. I had an annoying day at work, then band practice. I'm sorry, K. Reich. Why so fucking annoying? Uh, it is a branching plot based on your dialogue choice, so it's probably pretty long. Hmm. Skylight Free Range 2, looking like Roblox, huh? You don't like the plot, but you kind of like the gameplay. Expose everything. I hear a save point ahead. Who the fuck said expose everything? Hush, hush, don't you fret. Again, if I didn't have subtitles turned on, I wouldn't be able to hear this stuff. Which is kind of weird. Hush, hush, don't you fret, the good doctor is here. Peel away, no tearing. Well, this sounds like fun. Sounds like a what nice guy. Listen, fucking Anthony Hopkins. Shut your ass. So I've had to fight one guy. And then I saw a spooky, spooky ghost. Spooky, spooky ghost. 
This frame rate is fucking unbelievable. I don't know if it comes through on a stream. Because the stream's always kind of a low frame rate. Relatively speaking. I wonder if this game is really plausible to sneak around like I'm doing right now. Maybe it makes more sense... Maybe it makes more sense to uh, only sneak once you know where the foes are, you know what I mean? To get stealth kills, I mean, and sneak past them. Lots of shotgun ammo and shit. Where you're not the frame rate... Yeah, I've heard the frame rate does get better. I heard it got better in starting in Chapter 4, which is where I'm at right now. But so far, Chapter 4 looking to be as bad or worse than previous chapters. But I hope you're right, Dick Mulry Elf. Sticky, icky, Ickmo. I hear doors slamming. I'm not sure what the hell that's all about. Also, where's this voice I'm hearing? Down there somewhere? Players were, let's say they're, let's just say they were 18 FPS. Players? I know you work in game dev or something. I didn't know you work with players, though. I assumed you were mostly working behind the scenes. There's another bolt I don't need. Wish I didn't have to hold R1 to sneak. I wish there was like a toggle. I put through this game by chapter 7. You shouldn't experience any more frame rate. Chapter 7? But that's so far away, Ikmo. Hmm. Oh, hi. They're coming. They're coming. How many of them? Mm, blah. Give me that axe. It's them. They're coming. I saw we one guy. Taking care of them. <laughs> so he's gonna. He's gonna. Is it over? Oh, so now so I killed the only guy that was behind me. Customer support, I see. That sounds like a fucking drag. I'm sorry, dude. So, I'm assuming that he spawned behind me. Which is really obnoxious, to be honest. Otherwise, how would he have got behind me like that? I think some of these guys spawn in to be jump scares. So even though I've, I've been around where they would normally be, they're not there yet until they have to spawn in to jump scare me. Okay, well I can use one of these. And then grab this one. Okay. I hear somebody being a creeper. And I see... A... There's a voice, finally. There's where he is in there somewhere, that voice. Get some brain juice. So this is where I'm supposed to come? Maybe I should not be here? Fuck it, who cares? Let's just do it. I got plenty of ammo of all sorts. Okay. And then cool back here. Got some... Um, some matches. I think I'm going to save this super high stress moment. We must be going. For the next episode on YouTube, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. I'm going to have my very short break here on Twitch. Guys, if you enjoy hanging out with me and you want to keep the channel online, please subscribe on Twitch. It also helps out for as low as one buck a month using Patreon. The link below the stream is going to get you there. Just one buck a month is a huge help. Helps, uh, you know, um, the biggest help about the, the financial stuff is it helps me when um, people say, you know, hey, Venka, what do you, what do, you do all day? 
Um, every dollar gives me a little more confidence when I say, you know, I'm a streamer. You know, I, I'm, that's what I'm doing all this work for. That's why I'm doing this for 10 hours a day, six days a week. Um, but yeah, also, if you're like me, though, a dollar is a lot of money, right? A dollar is a lot of money. If you're a streamer and you're making, you know, like 25 cents an hour, then uh, definitely I know that feeling. It helps out for free by getting in the chat saying hi, like ICMO or K Reich or, you know, Dig Zucker, Lil B Brazy, uh, you know, uh, Overlord Steve, all these guys. They're a huge help to help keep me awake, keep me motivated through these long nights and these weird ass games sometimes with these horrible frame rates. Also, you can tell your friends we're here. You can follow on Twitch. You can save clips on Twitch as well. If there's like a highlight you enjoy, save it as a clip. I'll put it on my break screen. That's always fun. It's also good for me for other reasons. Like I can put it on like uh, promotional videos, things like that. It's kind of cool. Saves me a lot of work if you got saved clips. Also, you can, uh, you know, uh, um, check out my YouTube channel if you're new around here. I've got all of my past streams on YouTube, all of them. You know, usually in like pretty high quality, like 1080p, 60 frames, way better than Twitch. Um, I've got like playlists over there for Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Bloodborne, Ninja Guy, and Third Strike, Sack the Hedgehog, Commander Keen, um, Claude Dune, Knights of the Dreams. Uh, the Last of Us is on there now. Lots of cool stuff on YouTube. Um, you can watch me talk to my friends uh, or talk to myself a lot of the time for many, 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 many hours on YouTube. Again, very high quality. I'm going to refill my water here, eat a little bit of food, come back in like five minutes um, for some more The Evil Within Action. I'm digging this game right now. I mean, again, if you had to ask me if I like the game overall There's so no far, not really. Not really, but almost. So we'll see how it goes in the next episode and then on uh, you know, later nights as well. I will see you guys in five minutes. Peace out. But honestly, best thing about this game is Sebastian's vest. Let's have a look at it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Look at this man's fucking vest. Yo. His pants are a little bit too tight, though. That's gotta be hurting his ball sack. But you're right, that vest is totally insane. Suit. Prepare to get the launch. Get the offense going here. Okay. Wow. Urian is such a strong character. Oh, wow. Doesn't get the launcher off that. Oh, my God. Douchebag. Good sh Good shit. Can't believe we brought it back up. Find my patience, Leslie. 